Okay, we are now beginning the uh, meeting for the Walton County Design Review Board and um, at, at 6.07. Uh, we have uh, read the minutes. Anybody has a move for approval of the minutes? We have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Thank you. All right. Any announcements, Tim? Mac? None? Thank you. All right. Let's see. The items to be heard tonight are the Hardee's uh, Santa Rosa Beach material deviation. We have a representative for them also here. Okay. Tim? They're asking to keep it over the entrance too, right? Well, no? my understanding is you all said you were okay with the round entrances. Mm -hmm. You wanted it off the bottom. Yes, still around mm -hmm. the entrances. But they want to keep it all along the bottom through the drive. All right. So the objective is is to pick out which one of these we feel it would be comfortable. Okay. Wasn't there an issue with splashing mud? Yeah. Was there an issue of splashing mud, dirt, and stuff on the side of the building? That's the reason why you want to stay Yeah, that was the, the um, <coughs> point Thanks. that Mark was making is that the stucco material doesn't stand up as well as. Give us your name, I'm sorry. please. Scott Wilford. Thank you. What they their point was that the material, the stucco material, doesn't stand up nearly as well to the weather. Splashing of water, so that it stains it and actually looks worse a lot quicker than the stone. Mm -hmm. Wash the stone. Can't do that as well as the stucco. Ultimately, they're they're going to go with whatever the recommendation of the board is. Uh, that is their desire to have. Okay. Um, <clears throat> can you bring that a little closer so I can see it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting blind at my young age. In the light. Yeah, it is. Isn't it is. Yeah, that's what it is. There you go. Okay, that looks good. All right, that looks fine. That looks good. Now, the, uh, in this picture, you do see that there's this is the, the last one, so just, it's the la that's <laughs> that mixed uh, colors of stone still that's on there. Right. Yeah, that's the same stone as what okay. we had before. Um, okay. So, we're going to help you pick a different color or matching that would look good. Okay. Right. So that's going to stay that same, and we're just looking for that side. That's correct. Stone accent there and there. Cool. All right, let's move on. And Tim, just it's okay to bring Tim up to speed on the last what we, the comments from the last meeting. That's fine. We just had some concerns about the color of the stone, and if there's a lot of variation, it tends to stick out. Stick out, yeah. and so we were looking for something more muted. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. it was busy before. With they had combined two different 
uh, types. Types. And it eight. made it busy. Too many different color yeah. rocks in there, in other words. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Got gotcha. you. Okay. And, uh, one thing that the developer did mention uh, is that a number of these stone uh, options that we have there in front of you still have some variation mm -hmm. in them. Uh, he said that he would have no problem with uh, overwatering the stone. And if there's a too bright of red or too bright of orange in there, removing those stones and replacing it with one of the stones that they do. <coughs> and and five pictures of it once it's up, back to the uh, planning department. And yeah, some of them, like this one, for instance, the red, the red wouldn't work. The rest of it is fine. But if they remove mm -hmm. the red, then it's fine. But we, we compared this with the book, and uh, it's, I mean, the book doesn't really allow red. It's got a red tinge. It's really not allowed. Mm -hmm. and, and like y'all pointed out, it, it does stand out. It does, it, it's a totally different color than the rest of it. Well, to me, it looks like the cliffstone barley probably fits the bill. <coughs> it's just all kind of one palette, doesn't it? Yeah, my, the, my two that jumped out at me were the wet, weathered ledge natural blend and the cliffstone barley mm -hmm. as well. I'm exactly in the same place. Yeah. Same. Maybe we should borrow the picture. And Stick it up there? Yeah, I want you. And I guess the cliffstone barley, the just the type of stone and all, it looks a little more rustic mm -hmm. than the weathered ledge natural blend. So that would, you know, I like the neater look of the, the cleaner ledge. lines on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, kingfish? All right, y'all make a, you know his name? <laughs> you look fine. What you think, Dave? Go left. I mean, go. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Or left. That that looks good. The colors look good with that. Yeah, yeah, both of them color wise look good. I have a preference for the weathered ledge um, type of stone. Mm -hmm. Just a female touch. Okay. It's just I no. I just like orderliness. <laughs> so. The weather. The other one's too rustic. And actually, we, I think most of us are all we're good with either one. But we'll pick one for you. Yellow. <laughs> Some of the more yellow in there may not fly. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for the most part, it's good. But there's a couple in. Yes, it really is. Really, one kind of stone. Right, though. Yeah, that's probably not going to mm -hmm. fly. As so, long as they remove it, then. So let's go with Cliff Stone Barley. That would that'd be good that'd be all day long. Okay. I am. I yeah. I one of our two yeah, choices. Family, that was that was their preference actually. Okay. And I do like that it's very uniform in color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I can point out too also yeah, that it's, if, if they do over yeah. try to use stones that aren't broken up quite too much, that way maybe it has a little bit more Okay. Okay. So we have a motion? So move. Four. Do we have to Okay. Yeah. Whether you're going to allow it in the drive-thru and the exact type of stone. All right. I didn't do my usual. <laughs> my usual. <laughs> okay. Put it together here. I move the approval of. First of the year, I know. The Hardy's Santa Rosa Beach. Now, is this still a material deviation? Yes. Yes. A, a material deviation. I guess project number. Um, Okay, approving a split rock face around the building entrances and on the lower portion of the building in the drive-through lane using the um, 
material, cliffstone barley. Okay. Per the sample provided. <coughs> we got a motion and a second. All in favor? Oh. And Carrie, I, I pretty much most of that motion was taken right out of the memo. Okay, so. I can repeat it. For a split rock face around the building entrances and, the and on the lower portion of the, of the building. Of building in the drive. In the drive through the lane. Yes, only. Barley. And the second was Mr. Walter. As for okay. okay. Are you happy with that motion? Yes. Right on, right on the button. Right on the button. All right, on Mark. Okay, we got a motion, a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Member motion carries. Thank you. Thank you for the extra effort, sir. Yes, thank you. There you go. <laughs> Get her done. All right. We have next on the agenda the crossings at Inlet Master Signage Plan Amendment. Okay. Any questions? Right. Gotcha. And we have the applicant here. State your name. So he wants color, not any particular color, Sandy? No, he's going to allow them. With his and your... Right, we have to... Approval. Right. Um, and it's know. for the copy, the copy only. The border will remain consistent. That's right. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, okay. Once there's a master signing agreement, the plan, we don't approve. We don't right. It. right, we don't see it. But so could it just be any color, I guess, in that case, the way it's worded here? Yeah. That's what I was at, yeah, wanting to know. 
Me da que me da And you're talking about only the lettering? Only the copy. Okay. Only the copy, yeah. So no. I want you to be aware that it is different from mm -hmm. phase one. And whereas in phase one, it's just black and gray. And will that look unbalanced mm -hmm. to have, like, phase yes. one is all one way? Or? Well, if it's a master just sign, it's not a master Yeah, we, we got to look at it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to look at it. I know. That's why I was asking that question, because I don't like that idea. I think it should be all the same. Cool. Well, I just Yeah, because you've got... Um, You've got one building that looks that everything is the same yeah. and all the signs are the same. You've got another building that looks almost just like it right next to it. And then you're going to have the signs will be sort of the same, but not. Just the plate will be the same, but not the yeah. color of the letters. And that's right. going to be all and right. The, and I the have, building. I looked at that. I, I don't yeah. I, yeah. I drive by the building every day, but I drive by the building yeah. every yeah. day. And I have thought that the signs on the build, on phase one were a little bland looking. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. And that's yeah. his concern and the tenants. Okay. It, 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 it almost looks like it looks so bland. They almost look like temporary signs. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't oh, drive by it every day. Because so. you, you got. Here's yeah. a question. Yeah. If, it, if that change is made here, does that change? This is a master signing agreement for the entire both phases. Yes. Mac, I yes. guess. And, and Tim. For both phases. So, so they could. So in the oh. future, they could change. Color. So they're proposing that this only in phase two. They are proposing it in phase one. Yeah, there are two sections to the master signing. Okay. Phase one, phase right. two, and, and Sandy mentioned there too. So if phase one, yeah. phase one wanted the change theirs to what phase two had, then they'd have to come back before us to make that change. Yes, they'd have to come back and amend it. Mm -hmm. Right now, nothing is changing for phase one. Yeah. Nothing. See, I'd, I'd rather our preferences both to have phases. phases be the same. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I would think so too. And they still have some vacant space, I think, in the, uh, again. Well, well, I think I could probably speak for the building. If we could do it yeah. now, yeah. I'm just making a, you know, a, a scratch through in phase one. He, he saw that he made a mistake. So I think he would like in phase one to be able to give them that so that there is differentiation yeah. and it's sure. not all so bland and running together. Because that was a conversation John and I had. I said, John, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. It's too bland, yeah. I think. So I think he would appreciate the fact that we go ahead and change it for phase one mm -hmm. and phase two, that only color copy be allowed. You know. So we, we have, uh, Cindy, a question for you. Yeah. Um, if this were continued to the next meeting so that we could um, get phase one included and we could get some descriptive parameter for the range of colors that would be allowed, I mean, I would, mm -hmm. I would be good with that. But I hate to put you off for. A, if, is there a particular sign that you're trying to get done? No. Oh great. All, well then, there's a couple. Well, yeah. he's, oh, he's right. wanting. I think March first is there. Oh, he's wanting. As the build out is going on, they're wanting the signage to be up on the building. Okay. So yeah, for me to start building signs. After February's, mm -hmm. whatever it's going to be, that Thursday, okay. that's going to push me. Yeah. So let me let me ask this, and Sydney, make sure. If we can, we, we can go ahead and pr either prove or deny this. But if we prove this, then you have to come back for the phase one to make the changes for those signs. Which really, they've already got their signs up we can anyway. Make a motion. We, yeah. Or or can I make a suggestion? Right. Could I? Make a change and and pass that along to Tim because Tim would be the one in the future that would look at those colors and give him or it's something that y'all need to look at. Well, well, we just need to give Tim change. enough material to yeah. be able to say this color is good and this one's not. That's yeah. where I was going. So we can make a motion to fix. That. I think we can. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, yeah. I'm just going to interject real quickly. Um, what you guys have on your first agenda page that mm. was advertised mm -hmm. based on the word. Phase one, two. Cool. Okay. Cool. 
could just say whatever we do for phase two would be the same for, for phase one. one. But, but we're. But, but in a master sign, there's no, there's no fluoride. Fluoride yeah. is not allowed. But Tim, in a master sign plan, like I think we had one that had kind of, yeah. I want to say had kind of a teal color in it mm -hmm. at one point not many months ago. Yeah, the. Uh, we hemmed and hawed about it, but now that we've approved that color, whatever we ended up approving, that's now out there. He does, they don't come back, right? Yeah, so a normal sign would come back to us. Yeah. So I think that's what we're struggling mm -hmm. with is since it's a master sign plan. Yeah. Goes. We don't see it anymore, and yeah. you know, yeah, it, instead of having a purple or a yellow or a fuchsia I or mean, something on there for the lettering, it's you know we really would rather not see that. Just give some, so you can see it. Either yeah. black letters, red letters. Now, staff, does staff at an administrative level see master signage, master signs on the master sign plane, or does this? Yeah, when it comes into us, I I review it against the master signage plane. Yeah. Most of them aren't that detailed. They mirror the code. Yeah. So if, if we had a phrase, if, if in this motion we created a phrase that said that we will allow a range of colors that are complementary to the building and otherwise conform to the LDC, then in effect or something like that, is that a sufficient amount for you to handle? Well, you have to give ten specific yeah, colors. the last part that really wouldn't apply because the LDC doesn't doesn't regulate it. Doesn't sign color. Okay. You can have it pretty much any. I mean, mm -hmm. you see bright yeah. green, bright yellow, bright. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you'll see a whole oh, spectrum right. of colors, I'm sure, coming yeah, out yeah, of the woodwork. The biggest issue with mm -hmm. that, uh, some of you weren't here at the time, when we were talking about color, whether it should apply to signs was logos. Yeah. They have these logos that they're every, you know, all over the world, and for us to say, sorry, you, can't have it. you yeah. gotta change it, mm -hmm. yeah. we decided that was too much of a burden, so we decided color would not be well, the signage. The current owner of the project obviously is pretty conservative when it comes to color, but we don't know that he's always going to be yes. the owner of the building. He That's could, right. He and, could. and that was one of his concerns. He said, I'm not going to allow something gosh awful. But somebody comes and offers him a certain amount of money here in a couple of weeks and he sells the thing and then somebody else comes from some other country and says, I like <clears> purple <throat> on there, you know, so I'm going to, not that I have any problem with purple, but. I'm talking about a potential change in the landlord. Well, yeah, I, this landlord, I don't have a concern about. Right, the right. Landlord, That's what I'm saying. Right, you're right. Yeah, they, and, and we've henceforth given this particular, you know, not that that neck of the woods hopefully will go downhill anytime soon. No. Um, but, uh, <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you want to do the discretion of that and just go ahead and make that motion? Uh, Add one and two phase. You know, here's the deal. I mean, you got to be able to see the sign anyway, so yeah. it's hard to put a different color besides the standard bold colors that we have that look good anyway in most cases, right? I mean, you look at the palette, think about it. You can't really put yellow in there and the greens. You got to have a dark green. It, I mean, well. And, well, that's kind of my point with yeah. it, because the whole center is white and black. Right. Consistent with mm -hmm. white and black. I mean, and I'm okay. The base complementary is not that's too. That, that, I think that would put Tim in a difficult position. But if we and don't. White, white and black are neutral colors, and I think color goes yeah. with white that's and black. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. Like every range goes with white and black. My biggest Purple concern is, the, is just yeah. having the two so that we would have one one part half of the thing be yeah. black in black and white and the other in technicolor okay. you know i think that to me would be jarring 
I would like to see if you're going to say you can have color here, say you can, you can have color here okay. so that it's, okay. it, so yeah. So we're talking that, that this could be approvable if the phase one and phase two uh, follow the same mm -hmm. master signage right. plan. Right. Question right. is, phase one is already there and the signs are already there. Are they going to change the signs? No. Because if they don't change the signs, then you are going to have the black and white on one and we the color. Have, but there are a couple tenant spaces. Well, then, but today yeah. is tenant what. Is excuse me. On hang on a second. For, for today, they're here to do phase two anyway with just the color. So will it really wouldn't matter, but we're going to go ahead and add that in with phase one since we can with the wording being vague. We can go ahead and give them that open door. So yeah. later, if they, those tenants that are in there now, they may want to change. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and the bring tenants it. may change. Mm -hmm. And the tenants may change. I would say they probably will. And some of them not have any ill wishes mm -hmm. on the yeah. tenants, but just well, naturally. It's just the nature of it. Yeah. But good question. In the near future, you know, like, like for the next year or two years, it's going to be it's black and white and it's going to be color. So right. You can't make it like that, but right. repaint the signs. No. So. Right. right. I mean, I would, you know. All right. I, mean, I know Mr. Freer, I can just draw him in. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in a headlock. Maybe, maybe the signs aren't yeah. showing enough. Maybe one of the tenants would want to change it. You know? I, wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. surprised at all. Uh, yeah. yeah, and if they see color on the other, and, mm -hmm. and if it is, and I, like I said, I don't drive by there okay. as much as y'all do. But So we have a motion yeah. that we can make now? Okay, if, if I make a motion. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. I move the approval of the Crossings at Inlet Beach Master Signage Plan Amendment contingent on Phase 1 matching or, or being amended to the same criteria as Phase 2. Okay, so do you want me to prepare just to... Just change this one page, really. Well, we're, we're changing we're it for you. But, but she's yeah. talking about, no, we're not. She's talking oh. about the specific change is not in this. It was left out yeah, to go color. Yeah, mm, so it I'll said color in here. Somewhere. It said it was a typo. Okay. And she'll make the changes. Those are the two tweets. And the one over my side. Yeah, exactly. See, it says... Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, and see here it says logos and colors of land. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So it was in yeah. the first part. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Got it right on the exam. Oh, I see what gotcha. you're saying. Yeah. So we don't have a definite language for phase two. No, we do. Do we don't have full? She'll, she'll just move it over. On the example we do, but not in the body of the description. Yeah. The the description in the body is two different things. So I'm going to make them both same. Okay. Right, and it took, so that they both match with the allowed colors. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And that would make them happen. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. Well, we saw one one. Just make it look good. Do you see what we're talking about? That's the other thing, guys. I can't tell you. Know, somebody, if, if I was a sign company, they came. I'd be like, no, you can't do that color. I'm sorry. <laughs> look, Tom, uh -oh. see, you start on page one. And then go to the second page. It says Phase One Main Identification <coughs> Sign after the introduction. Master and sign. And then page three, at the bottom, says Tenant Building Signs. Right. And if you flip over and go down to Font Slash Logo Color, it says Black. Right. Right there, it should say Color. Exactly. And then, but but where it does say Color is over on this tracery example. The tracer example is correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It's correct because at the time she that is those are her colors. But I mean even oh, here right. it says logos and colors allowed, yes. Yeah. That so happens that, to be her logo colors. Yeah. But oh, time, I understand what so it is. Here's yeah. at the time she was the only one. Now Prince Wolf yeah. is on board and they want blue. <coughs> gotcha. And John's ready to get blue. Okay, so I make, sure that. make those changes. That's it. All right, we got a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, Miss Sandy. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you. All right, last but not least.
I know it's way too small. Listen, I said a lot of prayers before I got here today, tonight, so I want to make sure we're done with this, right? <laughs> We're going to sprinkle holy water on it and bless it and go on about our business, right? Yes. This one? Yeah. No, yeah. The what's, old? What's that one? Our, this our should have chart. all the changes that we've discussed. I know it's hard to read. Um, and I, I sent you guys each an email, I want to say, the beginning of December. Would this is a copy? Yeah. The I only didn't... thing that's not in your copy tonight, and this is my fault because I printed the wrong one for you, uh, if you go to the color section, let's see. So page 16 of 65. This was an old copy. This is the one that I emailed you guys. And I didn't uh, at that time take the time to transcribe all of the pages and numbers. I have since fixed that, but I did not print that for you tonight. So, but, um, so what you see there, I guess, is... Uh, David last time, was it last time or maybe in November, had come up with the idea that we would have principal colors mm -hmm. and the principal colors would remain the same as what we have currently approved under the guidelines. Okay. And then accent colors would be um, the largest amount of colors that Lourdes, David, and Gerald agreed on. Okay. Um, and I've taken the time since then to go through and do the, the chroma and value, but it didn't come out on your sheet today. But those numbers are... So the highlighted yellow, that's yeah. inserting yeah, right. the information that we right. talked about. Right. Yep, okay. okay. And just to remind me, you just said, it's the, the colors that we'd be adding as accent would be the ones that the three of them agree on. Is that what that's what said? I said, but that's actually not what I thought the well, intent was. It was the, let's see, it is basically going to be Gerald's colors because he wanted the most number of colors. The only ones that they all agreed on were David's because his were the least restrictive. Lord is this kind of, or, yes, I'm sorry, most restrictive. Lord is this kind of in the middle, and then Gerald <laughs> had the most. So I, I thought you guys wanted to go with the most, which would be Gerald's. I don't. Well, he's not here today. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can do whatever you want. Go to Lourdes. Lourdes is it. Lourdes was in the middle. She was consistently in the middle. David was consistently more strict. So it's it's however you guys want to do it. It's all on the and you probably don't have it with you, but we did the uh, spreadsheet and I can pass it around if you like. I have. I've a copy. All of them in my book here. Yeah. They're hard to understand. It is. Um, mm. But there's the spreadsheet with everyone's colors, and yeah. you can kind of see in the columns that Gerald has the most colors that he wants included. Mm -hmm. Lord is is right in the middle, and then David is the stingy. Mm. Yeah, and you. I guess you can tell because of the numbers two, four, and six. So when you're saying I hadn't been here, I'm sorry, but uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you don't even know about that whole thing. Ah. Uh, Y'all must have had a blast with this one. Right. David had come up with the idea that we would have a principal color, and the principal colors are going to remain what's already approved under the Chapter 13. The right. Only, there's only allowed to be one. Mm -hmm. Right. We, uh, let's take you back to the uh, guy from New Orleans, the big right. self-storage building. Right. And we had five different colors mm -hmm. on it, and each side looked a little different, and mm -hmm. we couldn't tell which... The, so... My thought after going mm -hmm. through that was, hey, let's yes. calm down. Let's get one primary color, a principal color we use. Right. Principal, because primary color has a connotation. Right. Um, principal color for the building, and that will let folks embellish that, you know, window casings, shutters, yeah. doors, etc., railings three with the broader yeah. Yeah. palette. Or even right smaller additions, too. I mean, we could yeah. do the massing license. Yeah, so they Different can, materials, so... Yeah. So you prevent a mass, you know, five this, a number of five different colors on a building, and we'd have to go through that whole massaging process. Whereas this is just one color for the main structure, and then the accents will have yeah. the ability. Well, I think they're always going to be able to say, you know, that what we are always going to be able to say yay or nay to the to the to the to the composition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, you know, in terms of generality, that's, that's the idea, that you would have one person of color and accent. Let me ask this question. All right, since I wasn't here, okay, a little more liberal. Oh, in, in other words, the color palette is expanded somewhat, very, very nicely. In terms of the accents. Yeah. And with Gerald's being a little bit more open, 
I mean, you know, we don't want to open the door too much. Yep. To, to a lot of colors. Actually, I've got a full size copy then. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't want to open see. it too much because that could create a whole. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could. Well, it's only in the accents that we've uh, 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 we've we've increased. Expanded, yeah. And the accents supposedly are just accents in the building, like what David was saying: shutters, doors, you know, just spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here um, you go. It's not going to be the majority of the building. You ready for the language on the accent colors? Mm -hmm. Okay. We came up. We said pri uh, primary uh, fluorescent colors are not permitted. There shall be a maximum of one primary color per building. And we actually decided principal, didn't we, instead of primary? Principal. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah you're right. That was okay. That, I said that was okay. okay. Yeah, because the primary so, colors uh, we really don't like. You can't that, read. And that might be an old draft. <laughs> I can't read. That. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Accent. Fluorescent colors are not permitted. Neon tube or fiber optic trim and accents are prohibited. Use of intense or contrasting accent colors to draw attention to the building is strongly discouraged and may be disapproved. Where canopies, awnings, balconies, porches, decks, doors, windows, shutters, or other architectural elements are not the same color as the principal color, they shall be <coughs> <laughs> they shall be considered an accent color. Oh, yeah. copy? No, yeah, I can just. <laughs> I'll I'll pick up, and then it says the number of accent colors permitted shall be limited to the minimum appropriate to the architectural character and form of the building. Accent colors shall be selected from the following list of the Munsell color or book of color, and then we'd have. Mm -hmm. uh, my idea was Gerald's list because I thought that was the direction of the board. But if we want to change that, that's totally fine. If we want to go with Lourdes, who's a little, little bit Gerald more conservative, he won't read the minutes, I don't you? think Gerald will mind. <laughs> hey, they always say I teach you yes. a lesson until she will. Oh, <laughs> Inspector um, Clouseau. Oh, Colonel, <laughs> Colonel Clay. Clay, Clay. <laughs> Clay Cat. <laughs> um, so on page 15 of 65, okay. where you have all the colors that are listed struck through. Right. Well, that's They'll be moved under A principle, principle where the highlighting is. And then under accent, you'll yeah, have a I'll have of those uh, plus the right. new. So, so here's my thought about between, so you, are you with us on the concept? I got it now, yeah. So my thought between Lourdes and Gerald's selections being what we choose Besides the fact that I just don't want to get too broad, is that I think I seem to remember the first time we looked at this and we had the book mm -hmm. and we were all down there. Do I remember correctly that even Jerry was like at some of his own? He started second guessing some of his own um, selections. No, I know I was second guessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he, <laughs> sounds, sounds I mean, plausible. Point, point well, point well made, Colonel Point. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So it, it's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I well, think we need to. I think we. I think we gave it enough openness at this point. With. I mean, from my point of view, I gave it a lot of options. So, yeah. I mean, I was pretty open as, as an architect. You want to have, you know, you want to be able to. Uh, We're looking at your scoring and all that. Combinations that can yeah. be really nice, but. That's and if, if, you, if you make them nice, but people yeah. well, yes. And if somebody really, really wants one of the other colors, they can come to us. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you know, this should take care of a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And just to be clear, Lourdes had further narrowed her selection, I guess, at a later date, and given yep. me this. Oh, so okay. after we had done I mean, the workshop, I, mean, I looked at it again. Do you want this? I just want. Well, um, so the, the motion, and then not to not to speed ahead, but just to begin wrapping my head around the motion, is our motion to forward the recommendations to the board of county commissioners. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, what will happen is it will be presented to the board of county commissioners. Um, at that time, uh, <laughs> they will have a chance to comment on it. Um, so at least two weeks, maybe a month. And once they have all their comments, at that point, it'll be brought back to the BCC for them to set it for public hearings. It'll go to the Planning Commission and then the BCC twice for approval. <clears throat> so there's several more public hearings along the way. Sorry, so, and I might, did I miss, miss a step? I think 
think so. Okay. <laughs> the first thing we'd have to do is take it to them to ask if we can move forward. Right. To advertise for the planning commission. So that's the first thing. Staff goes to the commission, they get a draft, and we ask, can we move forward with advertising? Well, I think I added a step because I think we would let the BCC make their comments first before it goes to planning commission. Yeah, typically, that isn't, I mean, we can do it, but mm -hmm. that's not the typical way we do it. Okay. Well, we, either way, it's going to be several the hearings. Parking ordinance, the parking ordinance, they were making comments and changes right. before they ever said, they still haven't told us to advertise it, but we made changes based on their comments. Right. So basically, we just move it through as quickly as possible through the procedures that it's required. Yeah. Okay. But this would be the last time you guys saw it as a board. Okay. Well, it never comes back to us again. Mm -mm. But they can make changes to it. Yes, they can. And you guys are obviously welcome and encouraged to come to all the hearings. Well, we'll be there. The planning commission can make recommended changes, but it's up to the county commission to accept the rejection. Yeah, Jerry could go to a meeting and have his colors put back in. <laughs> 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 uh, they're relying on... Yeah, no, go ahead. Tim, you're the guy that impacts more today than that. Yes. With what you know about the colors that, you know, I mean, you, you look at the Munsell book all the time and what you know about kind of what you know, has been selected. Does that give you enough definition, enough well, as quantification, as so as we as stay as away as from some of the, you know, uh, the deviation colors. process? As long as the colors are defined, because the current book, they're defined. You open up the book, it shows you on each page what's approved. And as long as we do that with, with the new book, the new palette, no problem. You just turn to that page and it shows you what's approved. Okay. Well, and, I, and what we added, you know, I think the dark colors for accents is a lot of what was coming to the deviation request. Mm -hmm. And I think that all got taken care of. We added some dark like, grays and blacks. And yeah, browns. that's it. Yeah, and that's been a lot of the black awning. That's that black. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, cool. Like so, so we got our, we got our, okay, we got a comment. You ready? One other thing. Oh. Because I think this came up, the, the towers, Height thing might have come up the first time when Tim wasn't here. And I also thought, are we, are we okay with where that ended up? Because I thought we were going to kind of all go back and think about it, which I did not. Like well, you know, it's this um, It's how big the tower can be in relation to the building. Yeah. I think yeah, it's in number six, six on about page that. 16 of 65. Okay. So the page we were just looking at. Mm -hmm. the top. I think. Yeah, the height of buildings. buildings minimum twelve feet to Eve. Maximum height Walton County. That's right, and that was language that David had proposed based on the square footage. Yeah, there was a project that it came up on. No, I didn't even know we even uh, looked at that. Uh, where where the oh. spicy noodle is now. Yeah, the uh, Rosemary Point. When did spicy noodle? That's oh, one, of, know, one of these. What was that? Hmm? What was that? The red. Twin Cupolas, yeah. towers, and spires are allowed and may extend to an additional 20 feet above the roof lines or allowable height, yeah, but they shall feet. not be leasable and non-habitable. But they shall be non-leasable and non-habitable and shall be limited to a yeah, maximum of 20% of the building think, footprint. Yeah, the yeah. one down. That's what my issue was. I think the 20% of 10,000 mm -hmm. square feet, that's, you know, 2,000 Big. square feet. And that's a tower. I mean, 2,000 square foot tower is huge. Yeah. Even well, though the building is Just out, remember, right know? now, the way it's, although it starts with the word and, this language is serving to put a limit that doesn't currently exist on how big they can be. Right. right. But, but, yeah, but, but the, so like the 20% seems really right. big to me. So you're saying it's not limited enough? Yeah. I mean, I'm saying that that's, that's a oh, lot. Yeah, right. I mean, if this anything, the you, you might be able to, yeah, yeah. You, you might be able to have two towers. That would be a thousand square feet, but even a thousand square feet seems seems big. Oh yeah, yeah. And I, I picked twenty twenty percent, fifteen percent, and ten percent. That's what's in. And that was I, I was a sort of a starting point. 
Right. But I mean, yes. I would be absolutely fine with 10%, the size, 7.5%. Not the but you know, it, the right. thought of it is that in a 10,000 square foot right. building, That's you might not saying. just do one tower, you might do you know, two towers. Uh, or three. You know what I'm three. saying? Or three. And you know, so then, so is there a specific no. tower size? Well, that's here's huge. the point: is it, that's why I use the twenty percent. You can have two towers, but they can only be ten percent each. Right, but they, they could all also be used as one tower that's twenty percent. Yeah, from the ten. Yeah, but but that that would be huge. I think you know, it's sort of like for a, well, for a ten thousand square foot building, then you have a two thousand square foot. Tower, base. Tower. It's it's sort of like a tower. I don't know whether you're thinking a tower it's being a building tower right. or a tower being a tower like an axis. I well, I am also trying to figure out how we would measure it. Do you measure? The, is it just the, the footprint? Have, it would have or those, the the base? Just yeah. the footprint? Yeah. Yeah, okay. the footprint, and you, you would have plans to do okay. that. Okay. Bye. But you know, my question is, how do you regulate that? I mean. In terms of massing, when you're are, are architecturally, are we allowing, are we saying the tower is a building tower? Because if it's a building tower, 2,000 square feet would be fine. Mm -hmm. But if it's like an accent, you know, sort of like to, like the tower, the seaside towers, or, or you know, in, in that term, right. then that's huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the challenge, thinking through it, the challenge is, is that unlike seaside, the buildings we're dealing with are not limited in size. The right. Right. So big. So. But quarter. seaside, seaside's yeah. code limits the size of the tower, no matter how big the, the residence is. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, so yeah. you, so you know the tower is going to be, uh, mm -hmm. what is it, two hundred square feet? Yeah, but I mean, the, biggest, the, the, the difference between the the smallest home in seaside and the largest home in seaside is nowhere close to the difference between the mm -hmm. smallest rec commercial buildings and the largest. Oh, and I realize that, and and the thing is that my point is. But they're limited by the size of the lot. So the smaller the lot, the smaller the building, and the bigger the lot, the bigger the Yeah, that's the concept here is that there's three categories. There's there's buildings. Maybe the category is the right. Yeah. 20, yeah. 000, 20, well, the thing about it is that should yeah. we just limit the size of these, you know, if we, we my, I'm trying to envision this, okay? Because, yeah. I mean, you know, yes, one thing is a building not. tower, which is, a building that is 10 stories or 70 feet high yeah. that becomes, you know, offices. Oh, well, that, that, that would be, that would be. This is not what you're trying to Because this, this, this is, is not habitable. Because it has to be not habitable. It's not habitable here. Okay. So, so, so what, and, and also, no matter what, what if it's you have, height. if you say if it's over 10,000 square feet, you can have this, you know, 2,000 square feet of towers, but no tower may exceed a certain footprint. So that if you want to have several foot, I think I think here. that's why I wanted to limit. Yeah. It. Because to a certain extent, you want you know I mean it's no it's single like tower that. can exceed you know whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I mean I don't know what an appropriate footprint for a tower is. So what do you want to say on the wording on that? Well, that's my intention was is that if you had one tower, it would be limited to twenty percent. If you had two towers, you know, you would still be a maximum of twenty percent. Right, it'd be ten so you'd have ten. Two small towers. So if we had three so towers, I don't know if we need to work at the, the word same. aggregate or something in there. Just I'm still thinking that the one tower at twenty percent, I mean if it's a single tower it's too much. it should be ten percent. Okay. Okay. So like the ten percent would be the the maximum. Okay. So I'm okay with that. Yeah. Maximum. I just think that with that's a total. Maybe we have just two categories. It's just, just two. One category. Yeah. Just have 10% for everything. I don't think it should be that, you know. Limited. Limited. Yeah. Because if you want to put, you know, if, if a building is big enough, you want to put three towers. Because I'm envisioning that too already yeah. on something or, I know. Or, or four towers. I mean, you know. Because one tower as long as they're funny on a big enough building. Exactly. Right. 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 Exactly. It just might be. So that'll go. Okay, so uh, just a little bit of change. Aggregate? <laughs> is that what we need to say? I think, well, I think, I think Mac had something. We have, we have bad, girls, girls, we have bad yeah. looks. <laughs> Mac, you want to say something? Yeah. yeah, could I offer a suggestion? Sure. It seems like what you're describing falls into um, section K here at, on page 10, quality of design. Uh, and if I could just read that to you, if you, may, if you don't have it in front of you. Uh, particular attention is placed on orientation, setback, spacing, site coverage, open space, scale, height, massing, proportions of the facade, facade openings, rhythm of solids to voids and facades, rhythm of buildings on the highway, rhythm of entrances and canopies, relationship of materials, texture, color, roof shape, and elements of design detailing. 
It seems like to me that what y'all are describing and trying to come to some resolution of are the kinds of things that you need to see mm -hmm. to decide if it's appropriate. Right. Well, we, yeah, we're, and I, I think we're going to see it. What we're trying to do is just give the designer more information in advance so that when the design gets to us, and I'm just thinking of things like the parapets we were getting for a while, the there was a tower on that big, uh, that same big multicolored storage. cake storage building looking mm -hmm. thing. Um, well, the other thing is that when, when you look at codes and you know, we're looking for, for, for to break the code or to try to get our way, you know, you, you, you find these, these paragraphs which said, oh, this, you know, this gives me this much opening, and this, you know, this there's other no piece, on. there's no limitation on it. It just says, you know, I mean, in terms of proportions. Well, who regulates proportions? Who says a proportion is better than another proportion? It's, it's just by taste. But one of, the, one of the authorities this board has is you can decide if you like the way it looks. Right, and that's right. what we've I mean, done many nice. times. But you try, you try not to get to that point because it becomes too subjective and people don't, it's not easy to say no to people. So they you know, know it on the front end. It becomes more confrontational and you want to make it like the least confrontational. So does this not warning here not give them an opportunity to open that up for them to have or do what they need to do with their design and then they can bring it to us and as Max saying, then we can say, hmm, it, it gives them some room. Right, but, but what I'm saying is that that to a certain extent, if we, 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 we tighten it up a little bit more, so that in, in terms of the ten thousand, you know, two thousand square foot tower, I mean, it's just okay. Well, then you know what? Let's make it. Let's, just just tighten it? it up a little bit. I mean, what? We, we, what is it we need to yeah. tighten it up with? Let's put it in there right now. To right? Do, we all agree. Let's just. Do we want to change the percentages? Yeah, the first question is, let's, let's, the, one, the, one, the one thing that's um, uh, different about what Lourdes, I think, is describing and what I first proposed we're, we're a little, is know, we're a little off if, if we had, just, just use the example of the 20% uh, on the up to 10,000 square foot building. A single tower at 2,000 square feet feels too big and it's not really a tower. It's mm -hmm. just a big chubby thing on the building. Right. Um, if it were two okay. towers at a thousand square feet each, that might be okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a. What I'm wondering is, is maybe having three categories of built based on building size is not necessary. Maybe we have one percentage for all building sizes, but we have different percentages for different numbers of towers. Or we just say the um, you know twenty percent on uh, five thousand square foot or. or or ten percent on the ten thousand for one tower if they yeah. want to use just one tower and limit that and then the next category would be you know if you want to do two towers or three towers you can do twenty percent of total. Yeah, that's what's going. So yeah. So then the question is, do we really need the, do we still need the three categories? So do we end up with nine categories? So you have small buildings that have up you know up to three well, we towers. We just do the two categories. We just do okay. you know, keep it simple. We want to do one tower, you know. That that's ten percent. It would be a maximum of ten percent of the ten thousand. Mm -hmm. okay. Or the next step would be you can do as many towers as you want with twenty percent maximum. Maximum. Okay. Yeah. So that's exactly. a, yeah. Okay. So you gonna put that in motion? Well, do the Say that again. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Um, how do I do this? Well, I I guess if I could try to suggest if we um, if we say oh, if one tower. Well, it's not just towers, it's, it's other things. So we have to say cupolas, towers, and spires, right? Okay, so for one cupola, tower, or spire shall be limited to a maximum of 10% of the building footprint. How about we, for two or more. Do you, for think, structures do you think it can end further? Yeah, I think this needs to be a new sentence. This has yeah. got to be a new sentence. Okay, so... so. I think we're just adding language right here. I, I, and I'm sorry, just I guess to make it clear, what we'll do is um, at the end of this. Yeah. I know. So, and we mentioned this whenever we brought this up in November. 
mm-hmm. that were a little, were actually very far off field by bringing this up at all. Oh, so what can I'm... pull this one out and just do another workshop? Well, what I was going to suggest is we could just forward this to the BCC with, you know, this was a recommendation. It wasn't part of our original parameters, but this is something we considered while we were doing it. So that was my plan, if you guys are comfortable with that. All right. Sure. Okay. It's just going to be a suggestion from the board. Let's just hang on to it. Unless y'all ready to go. We have the wording. She just said it, and everybody seemed to be okay with it. I mean, we're close. We're right Right. there. Overhead canopies is not regulated by these standards. Let's get this buried. Let's bury this. (laughs) Well, towers and spires are allowed and made. Right. Well, and I'm sorry, Lourdes. Um, Also, another option. Let's just. Let's go ahead with everything we've done. We can take this out. I can ask the BCC just to let us hold one more workshop on this one issue if you want to. Or you, if you guys are comfortable with me doing the one tower at 10%, two or more towers at 20, and I'll just present it to the BCC as another recommendation. Bingo. I think that's and I'll massage language for you. Just yeah. as a suggestion, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. maybe you should do A and B under six because the, the title is height. Right. And we're not talking height. So maybe yeah. A and B underneath of that or, or re- right. renumber it, but it just doesn't seem to I fit. I mean, it needs, it needs a little work. But if you guys are comfortable with me working with it mm-hmm. and presenting it to the BCC, <clears throat> it'll You got the idea. That's, that's, is that, yeah. are you, yeah. We just don't want the you know, idea is we don't want to see Okay, a so one tower, we want to limit it to 10%, no matter the uh, square footage of the building. Mm-hmm. Two or more towers, we want to limit it to 20%. No matter the square totally. footage of the building. Perfect. That's great. And this That's is great. towers, Perfect. cupolas, and spires. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. Good idea. Thank you. Okay. Make sure we didn't have the big monolithic tower sitting out there. I'm going to get a project and I'm going to try to break that one. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on, girl. Bring it on. Okay. And then so I guess what we need is a Good. motion to send this to the BCC for their consideration, but give me some clarification on the colors. Okay. So it would be as presented, but with your clarification on the accent colors. Do you guys want to go with Lourdes? I think yes. that was... Mm-hmm. Okay. So just put that in a motion. Okay. So... You can just say, as presented, sent to the BCC for their recommendation, or for their consideration, with the addition of Lourdes' colors okay. and the accent color section. That was kind of convoluted, but... Do colors, building materials, and landscaping? No. Yeah. Okay. I move that we forward the proposed changes to Chapter 13 of the Walton County LDC to... I'm sorry. In, um, reflecting the accent color palette Pre- previous, previously submitted previously by Lourdes. Submitted by Lourdes um, to the BCC. Okay. It's like the color palette, you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Accent color palette. Accent, Accent color, color palette. palette. This baby's going to birth today. This baby came out with yeah. a mustache. All right, we got a motion. Do we have a second? Oh. You got it? There's, I'm going to give you a copy of this. It's got all the changes they've given me over the and days. And changes submitted. And this is what was submitted. To the BCC. Correct? Okay. Uh, motion to recommend approval of the proposed changes, uh, changes to Chapter 13 of the Land Development Code as presented, reflecting the accent color palette presented by the Lord's Friend of Barring to the BCC. Yes. Okay. Yes. And who's second? Uh, uh, second? Lee. 
All in favor say aye. Or just may I have your aye. aye. Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Motion to adjourn. Before adjourn. <laughs> so close. Yeah. I'd like to get some clarification. Last year when the Ocean Club sign came in and they wanted to do the, the halo effect, because the code says only exterior lighting. This board ruled that that, because it was offset, that was not internal, it was external lighting. So I want some clarification because I've had people ask me, can I do an interior lit monument sign? And we say no, because the code says only externally lit. So is that just that case, or is it not exterior lighting? What was the details? I don't remember it, but what, what, how were the letters? It's, the letters I don't think they've ever put it up, even though it got approved. It's, it's like the Grand Boulevard movie theater sign. It's a halo effect. The letters are offset from the lighting. The lighting is in the monument. The letters are offset, and it gives you a backlighting and a halo right, effect. So, so, so the monument is here. That's the wall, and the, it's lit there, and, and the letters are two inches away from that. Yes. And they're, they're, but they're solid letters. It's not like a, a box. That yes, that's correct. Or in gloss. Without, so I would consider an exterior lighting. What are you mm -hmm. asking? Whether it's your decision is based on that one case, because we brought it as a deviation to the code, but the ruling from the board was a deviation is not required. This is external as opposed to internal lighting, because you said because it's offset. It's not inside of the letters. Mm -hmm. yep. So I need to understand, because I have people ask me, can I have an internally lit sign and we say no because that's what the code says so is that ruling specific to that one case or is that kind of lighting going to be the whole scenic corridor because it's not inter it's not considered it's to be not, internally it's lit it's not internal because it's not inside the casements of the of, of, of the lettering correct i mean that's how i mm -hmm. see it but this is the, the, the letters are exterior and the lighting is on the wall like it, like it would be in any exterior light. Yeah, the monument itself is not lit. The letter's lit. Well, I mean, it, comes, so it comes from behind the letter. Yeah. Right, right? But it's yes. mm -hmm. coming off the base, whatever it is. And, and shining Yeah, out. but the, 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 I guess what, maybe to answer the question is to say what we don't want. What we don't want is lit, internally lit monuments. Right. Uh, yes. That's what we don't want. No. Exactly. What, or internal, internal we, what we, what I believe, we all looked at it and we said that is lighting that is lighting a letter, correct? Not a, not the monument itself, correct? Or, yeah, and that's the way I explain it. Yeah, it's got to be off, and that's the way the Ocean Club was. It was mm -hmm. offset. It's okay for everybody. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's mm -hmm. okay for everybody. Yeah. It's it's basically a reverse channel letter. It's, it's not completely, but, 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 but it's basically it sh shines back and gives that halo effect. It's not shining through the, through. Right, versus being fruitful. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. But it's the same concept. But it's exterior. Actually, that's a great, that's a great word to use. It's a backlit, it's backlit copy. Yes. Right. And so if somebody comes back to you with the same detail like that, it's, a, it's, it's we would approve it again. You know? Okay, I just and wanted I some clarification it, because that, Lotus, yeah, Lotus, I think, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the question that Tim is asking is, do those signs need to come to us as a deviation? Yes. Or, yeah, or not. It would still come, it would still come to you. You still have to approve it, but we brought, we brought that as a deviation and the board ruled a deviation is not required. It's yeah. it's externally okay. lit. Right. right, because yeah. if, if, okay if you have those letters. details, we're not okay with mm -hmm. not lit monuments. But any right. monument sign it, it, is internally detailed lit. Internally. exactly yeah. like that. And we're not okay with internally It's not a deviation. We don't want monuments. Okay, that that's what I need to know. Yeah. Because I've had several inquiries. Right. Yeah. 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 And for whatever reason, I don't think the Ocean Club ever put it up. You you all approved it, but I don't think they ever... There's something over there now that's different. I don't, I... But didn't, didn't they do the same concept on those inner and exit signs? Yeah, and I did. don't I remember if it was by deviation or not. I don't think that was the the sign in the middle was, mm -hmm. but not the inner and exit. 
I as long as they're, the code. they're they're separate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it, it's like like Lee said, it's backlit. All right, thank you. Because I I didn't inquire today, and uh, I just wanted. I didn't know whether to tell them it was a deviation. I mean, either way, it comes to the board for approval. And I actually personally think they look great. Mm -hmm. I, I love them. I, I prefer, prefer it to the front one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool with that halo effect. I mean, the only one I know of right now is at Grand Boulevard, but when you drive by there, it really stands, mm -hmm. it stands out. It's really nice. Well, and I like it because let's limit what we're talking about on a monument sign because you don't have those ugly lights down on the ground. Mm -hmm which are ugly, and it creates less light overspill. Mm -hmm. or, from, or from the it's top. Cool. It's just right there, mm -hmm. and it really, you really see That's the, 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 mm -hmm. the letters, mm -hmm. but it's not like big lit up thing. Mm -hmm. Or from the top, like Dollar General, they have those, uh, oh, yeah. that's not very attractive. Rather, the goosenecks. <laughs> goosenecks, yeah. That's, yeah what they, exactly. that's what they use on, for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I think it cleans well, up. even, even the donut hole has that. The goosenecks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and their on sign that. is relatively new. They came in and replaced their old sign. It's relatively new. They're really nice looking goosenecks, but they are fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Out there. Well, that's, it thank you. That's, that what, that's what I needed to know. Okay. Yeah. Any other business to come before this body? Motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. We stand adjourned. I just need your number and I'm trying to figure out, I just got this new phone and I'm trying to figure out how to add.